What's good guys, welcome back to Ron's Rise News, welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to another video where we get some more power to the base S and GTS models of the facelifted 2022 Porsche Macans. Now Porsche has refreshed its big selling Macan SUV, giving every model a power boost. But in a testament to just how right Porsche got it in the design of the original car back in 2014, you might need to see the old ones side by side to tell them apart. Porsche hasn't released details about the upcoming Macan EV, which will use an entirely different electric vehicle platform or the 2022 Turbo. So the headline now is the sporty GTS, whose twin turbo 2.9 liter V6 gains an impressive 60 horsepower over the old model. Now, thanks to its 434 horsepower output and accompanying 406 pound feet of torque, it can reach 60 miles per hour in just 4.1 seconds, which is 0.4 seconds quicker than before at 169 miles per hour for the top speed, seven miles per hour faster than the old model, and even two miles per hour faster at the top end than the old turbo, which also put out 434 horsepower. Now the mid-range Macan S, meanwhile, inherits the 375 horsepower, 383 pound-feet V6 from the last year's GTS, dropping the 60 mile per hour time by a half second to 4.4 seconds when equipped with the optional Sport Chrono package. And even the base car didn't miss out when Porsche was handing out the power-ups. Its 2 liter turbo 4 also gets a power boost from 248 to 261 horsepower while a torque climbs 22 pound feet to 295 pound feet. That's enough to slash 0.3 seconds off the 0 to 60 or 0 to 96 kilometer time which falls to 5.8 seconds when equipped with the Sport Chrono. But all this extra poke doesn't come free. The speedier 2022 Macan costs between 2800 and 7800 more than the cars they replace. The speediest of the lot for now and pitched as the driver's car of the Macan range is the GTS that rides on 21 inch gloss black RS spider wheels plus adaptive air suspension that's 15% stiffer than before and peek through those wheels and you'll find Porsche surface coated brakes with red calipers while black tailpipes, clear LED tail lamps, and sport design side skirts complete the look. But for those who want to push things even further, the optional GTS Sport package includes the Sport Chrono package, Porsche Torque Vectoring Plus, 18-way adaptive sport seats, and various pieces of carbon fiber trim for an interior that now features sleek touch-sensitive console buttons like the Taycan EVs, a shorter gear lever, and the once optional analog dash top clock across the range. Now changes to the exterior include a new lower front bumper design plus slightly repositioned daytime running lights while the side blade running along the bottom of the door is now a 3D texture surface. But the clearest external changes are reserved for the rear whose black diffuser section is now taller and runs the full width of the bumper and that's reducing the amount of painted surface visible and making the Macan appear lower. Now the LED headlight and sport design mirrors are now standard and the stock wheels are bigger across the range, meaning even the base Macan now rolls on 19 inches, and in total, there are seven new wheel designs and 14 new colors. Now inside, the refresh brings a redesigned center console inspired by the Taycan that offers haptic touch elements along with simpler and cleaner looks, a larger storage compartment, and a shorter gear lever as well. Now Porsche also offers the new GT Sport steering wheel adopted from the 911 and newly available interior option packages with deviated stitching in Papaya, Gentian Blue and Chalk. And all cars again come standard with an all-wheel drive system and Porsche 7-speed PDK dual-clutch transmission, while every cabin has a 10.9-inch touchscreen with navigation and Apple CarPlay, lane departure warning, and front and rear park assist. And that's also standard, but you can bet Porsche still has plenty of ideas for liberating you out of a little extra cash, including options like lane keep assist, adaptive cruise control, and blind spot monitoring, which really should be standard on a premium car these days. But European deliveries will start in October with UK cars arriving shortly afterwards. But as usual, the boat across the Atlantic is a slow one. The entry level Macan is $54,900 plus the $1,350 for the destination. And it arrives in the US in early 2022. But the S, which is $65,400, and the GTS, which is $79,900, won't be here before spring. So with that said, which one are you taking? The base, the S, or the GTS Macan for 2022? Let me know what you want down below. And if you guys did enjoy the video today, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. 
giving the video a like will help get it up in rankings. More people can see it, and we can have a bigger discussion on the facelifted 2022 Porsche Macan. Now, with that said, if you guys want to help further support the channel, always check the links down below. I have a one-time link donation for my PayPal, for my Cash App, and for my Venmo, just in case you guys want to donate a dollar or two to the channel. You can also help support by checking out the Raj Rise merch, just in case you guys want to get coffee mugs, stickers, tote bags, leggings, everything Ron's Rise. Now, I'm also on Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, Snapchat. See everything I'm posting, car memes, pictures, and videos. It doesn't always make it here to the channel. And make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, but click that notification bell so you won't miss one news video. With that said, you guys be blessed. Have a great day, and we will talk to you guys in the next Ron's Rise news video. Peace.